I know, I promised I would answer some questions, so I will do that. First question, how old are you? I'm 37 years old. I was born in 1978. Where I was born and grew up was, I was born in a town called Sjöping. And then I moved when I was about two years old to a town called Westeros, about two miles from there and about ten miles from here, where I am now. Uh, my favorite places before I got here, it was uh, probably in Westeros and everywhere where my good friends were or uh, yeah, probably now where my daughter is, I'm happy. Of course, uh, favorite food. Yeah, I only enjoy food when I am with my daughter, when I cook food for her, or when uh, uh, when we are in a restaurant. Because here, I don't want to. Even if I eat something good when I'm in the hospital, I buy some candy or whatever. I don't really enjoy it because I don't want to connect a good feeling with uh, this situation because I don't want to I don't want it to be good here I want it to be hard because that makes me uh, you know, it's a perfect uh, grow ground because uh, to grow from you know, to be, become a better version of what you are it's like a great school in that place but it's a fucked up place the alarm goes uh, every you know, all, uh, all day long, 24 hours, 24 hours a day, uh, every day, people scream, cry, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's not that one uh, that you, I don't want you to feel sorry about me. I just want to say that, that kind of place is nothing that I want to, when I get free from here, if I get free, or when I'm uh, meeting uh, my family or the I don't want to eat the same candy then and make that taste and pleasure connect with uh, give me thoughts about that because that's not my home so I don't see it's my home I like it hard because that makes me want to get out of there uh, yeah I hope you understand what I mean Is the how many tattoos do I got? I got uh, a one. <laughs> I don't know. It's a problem on my body. And one question is: uh, Is there some place I don't want to tattoo? No, not really. I got tattoos in most places, except my eyeballs. I, I got uh, in places that I that only see in uh, intimate ways and uh, everywhere else I got tattoos how long have I uh, the, well, the done uh, works uh, painting stuff yeah, all my life so as long as I can remember I have found pleasure in doing art and all the snow at uh, that is something yeah, that's that is a part of me, like uh, if you take a, a window in the cold outside and you blow your breath on it, it become foggy. I don't know what you say, but you know it gets a cloudy the, <laughs> the window from your breath. And that is what my art are. It's just my breath on the mirror. Well, uh, yeah, uh, window. That's what it is. It's, I can't explain it. Uh, and my art influenced me, also a question, have art influenced me to done the homicide to bring me here now? Uh, I don't know. Some doctor or uh, some other person have to decide that. Uh, would I feel, another question, do I feel the urge to, to kill again? Uh, not right now. Uh, 
another question what do I miss from the outside from the free world I don't really see me as non-free because freedom in that sense does not exist this is just a I live just in a little smaller box than you out there in the free because I'm freer in some sense here. Yeah, I have less responsibility. I can focus all my all my time on uh, working out my body and uh, train my art. And uh, oh, the, the biggest prison that we all uh, that we all locked up in uh, is uh, is the prison of uh, all the senses of the mind combined with uh, the, all the, all the elements. That's a prison, if you want to see them something a prison, but that is what it is. We can't see beyond that. So, but that, that, that goes with your area, if you're like in a smaller box like me, or in a bigger box. So, I look at my box like a, I can imagine a, a, a larva look at his cocoon. It's a hell of a ride. Did my... This is a, my process to make art is... You know, it depends on what I have to do art with. I use many things, maybe I've seen... Uh, so latest thing, they made out of toilet paper. Yeah, because the, it's hand uh, because everything is not it's not uh, they not allow everything of course at the hospital but often it'd be shiny sink is my favorite when I paid with two hands at the same time I do it most of my things with two hands because you see you got two eyes too because we we need to see depth in things we got two hands and uh, they are controlled with well We got two hands and uh, each side of the body is controlled with uh, one half of the brain. So I thought it's most go faster to paint with two hands and uh, you mostly get a better result. And now, now it's like that. Uh, I only, if I want to paint, especially, um, what is called, uh, when you want to make a portrait or something. I only almost look at the, the example of photo of the one I'm gonna paint. I don't look at the paper as much or my hands. The hands goes where my eyes look at. So that is it's a cool thing. Try it. If I do I what I hope for the future, the thing is I don't like the word hope. Uh, or a belief because I use it because it's needed in the human uh, language regardless what country you come from that's a word but in my thinking about that is if you believe in something it means that you take all, all the things that worth something your time time is life your emotions uh, your, sometimes even money and everything you own and and put that in something that not uh, yeah is it like it's, it, it's a fantasy it's a hope thing uh, based on almost a fear or imagination or you know, non-logic that is belief and uh, hope is something you use when you know, it's a higher form of belief is um, you know, that's created almost fear of hopelessness of uh, of uh, feeling lost in every way hope is uh, a sign for weakness what I wish for the future I don't know what the future involves for me um, I want more 
why I happen to others. I really can't see if nothing happens to me. Since my father exploded in my mother, this is a continue of that explosion. I keep on. When I finish exploding, the echo or the circles in the water from me will keep on going. And I believe it's so for all. I see it like this, and I think everybody can see it this. There is me and there is everything else. And the only thing that stops everything from being whole and connect to itself is me. Like a hair in the eye or a stone in the shoe. It feels uncomfortable. That's because that everything in this world is made to kill, to consume, to draw energy from everything. This, this is a planet of the rotten flesh. Because everybody goes go around rotten, everybody feeds of every, every other's misery. And every, just to rise again in some other form to keep dying, to keep killing. The ultimate goal for everything here is death. When everybody goes around and thinks that, that we are alive. This is only different stages of death, nothing more. This is rotten. We rot, everything rot here. We live in a kind of a prison, like a digestive system for something. A eternal machine of the eternal dying. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm talking in that sense, the language, language human have, so my, what does this mean to be alive and dead? I can't see something as live that's uh, dying. You are dead. You are different stages are dead. Yeah. Thanks for all. I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.